What about uh, adding local treatments such as stereotactic radiation with the goals of controlling metastatic disease, both locally as well as systemically? That's an excellent point, uh, excellent uh, question, Olka. Sort of what's the role of SBRT? We saw the data that was presented regarding um, the SABRE trial. It was a pan solid tumor trial that was looking at the role of SBRT showing benefit in that context. Um, there's, uh, you know, more, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, hand uh, talking around about the uh, upscopal effect of radiation as opposed to uh, true data out there. And I really want to commend, um, you know, uh, the authors of uh, two abstracts that were presented at GU ASCO, Dr. Hammers and Dr. Messini both presented data of the role of SBRT in the context of IO therapy. Um, the Neves trial look, was a phase uh, two trial, single arm trial of uh, uh, patients receiving nivolumab with SBRT, um, you know, it was underwhelming when we saw the response rate of about 17 and a, and, and a half percent in this um, uh, trial, you know, sort of uh, below what we would see with historic uh, controls um, in a patient population that was predominantly, you know, they these patients were naive of a prior checkpoint inhibitor. Um, uh, I think uh, Dr. Hammers presented the data with Nevo Ipi combined with SBRT from the RADVAX trial, and response rates were higher on the order of around 56% from that trial. You know, I think what these data, it's, it's good to have this data out there. I think these data really highlight that this approach is feasible, this approach is safe, but I think we're still we need more data to really prove the role of SBRT as being truly synergistic with uh, nivolumab and ipilimumab. Now, there are other questions to be asked about SBRT, such as what is the role in the context of patients who have oligometastatic disease um, treating with a uh, almost curative intent and trying to uh, radiate all visible sites of disease. Also, is there a potential role in the context of oligoprogression post-IO, mm -hmm. where you can maintain an IO backbone and then um, treat with SBRT to the oligoprogressive sites? I think these are unmet um, questions that are still out there in the field. Um, but Dr. Powell's gave actually a very sobering discussion, um, you know, about these two abstracts and really sort of the data that's out there about the role of SBRT. I think we need to see more. Um, uh, data before we really uh, implement this in practice. I agree. And he actually showed the comparison uh, to the standard epinevo only data. And really, there wasn't a big difference with the addition of SVRT. So definitely very sobering clinical trial data when we were expecting, at least from the preclinical trials and preliminary uh, studies, the thought process was that this would add quite a bit to the immunotherapy. Mm -hmm. Any other comments? Yeah, Uka, I think uh, I agree with you and Rihanna. I think maybe the possible area that we can use radiation down the road, uh, if someone has a symptomatic primary, I think uh, maybe a good place that we can uh, entertain with SBRT. In addition to that, we have patient with IVC thrombus and there's a nice data from NRG Yes. Uh, when they radiate the IVC thrombus, actually, they have a pretty good outcome because then they also look at those uh, IVC thrombus and turn out they, they have a very high PDL1 mm -hmm. uh, expression. And maybe combining this with immunotherapy, I think, is an important area. Yeah. And the third uh, area that we can uh, think about it once we have the P PDL1 PET, maybe using uh, radiation to, to, to the cold tumor, like if this is PDL1 low, maybe giving radiation and make them hot. And then combining with radiation therapy also might be a possible area. I think the jury is still out, uh, but hopefully we can uh, learn uh, from both trials and uh, able to come up a good combination.